game plan coming in today's game? Um, well, we came in, I felt like all three phases, you know, we had to really perform well. I think the major part of our, uh, of our quest out here was to not have turnovers, but to get turnovers and to uh, take advantage of them. Uh, we took advantage of one because it was a pick six. The other we scored, and then um, uh, we didn't take advantage of one of them. But for the most part, you know, we held on to the ball very well. Uh, I thought we were stingy with the ball down the field uh, when we were throwing it. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sick uh, about uh, several drives, and I think that for us it made some of the difference in the game. Coach, this week you switched from uh, Brandon Silvers to B.J. Daniels at quarterback. Uh, what did you see him do better this week? Yeah. Um, well, uh, last week uh, we really uh, sputtered a bit early in the game, and I made a change at halftime. And then B.J. Uh, had this uh, other dimension, you know, with his feet. And so uh, I gave him the nod um, probably midweek last week. Uh, with all the players present so that we knew exactly what we were trying to prepare for. And he came out and he uh, showed leadership, he showed that he could execute the offense and uh, you know, I really felt comfortable with uh, how we were playing, especially in, in the first half and uh, even at times in the second half. But um, that's kind of how it happened and uh, I thought he proved that uh, you know, he's, he's capable of continuing on. Coach, it seemed like the running game was keeping you guys on schedule in the first half. Uh, it seemed like in the second half, it really kind of went away. Or what, what happened in that second half for you guys? Yeah, I felt like uh, you know we made uh, <laughs> you know you talk about uh, uh, as we're as we're zone reading or, or whatever we uh, kept the ball one time and should, we could have given it. But those those don't win and lose games. It's really the sustaining sustaining those uh, blocks, keeping keeping. Uh, our, uh, I think what we're going to see is uh, our, their, you know, uh, Houston's defense, uh, especially in that front line, did a really nice job of getting off blocks uh, late, later on in the game, and uh, we needed to, to sustain if we wanted to continue to run the ball. And uh, so a couple three and outs, I felt like we still had the right plays on uh, at those times, but. Um, I, I probably I needed to open it up a little bit more and uh, create that mix. Um, and uh, you know, I'm always coaches. We're always we always second guess ourselves. I want to be on the winning side of this. I would still be second guessing myself, and you know, if we're on the other side of it. So yeah, I I just feel like we probably missed some blocks at the point of attack that didn't allow the backs to have that those same lanes as we did in the first half. Yes. Now in the second half, um, like you said, you, you went away from, from, from the running game. What what adjustments did they make defensively that made you believe that you, you needed to go in that direction? Yeah, point. well, uh, the score part of it, and, and I actually did try to stay with the run game in that third quarter, and we had uh, several three and outs. Um, and it wasn't the three third and fives. It was, the th you know, we had a third and 11, we had a third and 10. and. Uh, you know, that just means that you're, it's really the lack of production on first and second down that uh, causes uh, a, a team to, you know, uh, run, stop, run, stop, and then all of a sudden you're in this really long situation. So now the pass pro has to be great where you can really uh, stand and deliver. And, uh, you know, BJ scrambled several times and was hit. Um, I felt like we could have gone down the field on, on his scrambles, but we'll see. I mean, we have a lot of questions to answer uh, in that third quarter. It's really the third quarter that, uh, you know, it, offensively that uh, hurt us. And I'll tell you, the other way it hurt us is it kept our defense on the field too long. And uh, they had a couple of really long drives and possession of the ball. I don't know what, I don't know what the uh, possession was, but they had it for a long time in that third quarter. You force Walton Walker into three turnovers. Do you feel like that should have been enough to win the game there to at least get you out of a good situation? It kept us, it, it, you know, it just was so, uh, yeah, it was um, really up, you know, it was kind of a momentum changer for us. And we felt like, yes, you know, let's go. I think everybody was really fired up about those things. And then to go three and out after that, it just 
you know, it's not like everybody's mouth drops or we, you know, run off the field with shrugged shoulders. But uh, you know, certainly that should be a lift, and that didn't lift us, and uh, it, it's absolutely needed to. And that against a, a good football team, and this is a five and O team now, a four and O team. So uh, yeah, we needed to we needed to produce that third quarter, and we didn't. You talk about what you like with B.J. Daniels and his athleticism. Can we expect to see more design quarterback runs in this offense today? Uh, well, I don't know about design. Uh, it, it's it's more about just reading what, taking what you can see and what you get. Uh, yeah, he. Uh, the only the only reason I would say probably, but it won't be more. It'll just be, you know, uh, it'll be uh, reading it correctly, whether he's going to give it or whether he's going to keep it, or whether he's going to keep it and throw it. You know, there's all, you know, there's several things that you can do. Uh, the dimension uh, is what's kind of, uh, is helping us. You know, the dimension of being able to do those three things has really helped us. Now, Coach, you're, you're one and four, but you're still very much in contention. What, how are you going to get your team, what do you say to your team uh, to, to get them to understand that you still have a shot uh, uh, not only make playoffs, but to uh, uh, make championship yeah. and, and, and make a run in the second half. Of the yeah. Season. Well, some. Uh, that's, it's really a good question. You know, I I'd love to have. You know, there's. I'm sure there's a book written on great sayings after a loss, and I'd love to have that. You know, I used to go, hey, uh, number 14. You know, number 14, and everybody gets inspired. But uh, you really have to uh, understand the the chemistry of your team. I think we have some mature guys. Nobody on our football team uh, likes the situation we're in, and it's a good thing. You know, if everybody was just complacent and hey, no big deal, let's let's go back to Seattle and and uh, do our do our thing. Nobody wants to play the season out like that. So we keep fighting. And we keep uh, what I've appreciated about our team is they just keep getting back in line and fight fight again uh, during that that following week. And every game we've been in, it's been pretty optimistic. We feel like we can really do these things and go. And uh, those are the things that I think have to be uh, not so much told to these guys because, I mean, when you, you know, after a loss, and we've had now four of them, uh, it's hard to keep. It's hard to come up with that perfect statement that makes them go, "Yes, that's it. I got it." Uh, uh, it's almost. Uh, uh, that has to be done in smaller segments, maybe. And uh, you know, as we get back to Seattle, once we see the the uh, video and we grade it, and our guys understand it, uh, then we can get back to work. And I think getting back to work will be the the main you know the main issue for us all because the nobody cares, <laughs> right? Nobody cares that we lost. We do, right? And people in Seattle, you know, they want a winner as well. But nobody really cares that we lost, and uh, you know, so we can we can pout and, and do all that. But our I think our team has a bunch of guys that want to get back at it and find out those answers, and we're we're moving forward uh, in that. We have, we had a pretty good lead in this game, and uh, you know we we have to know we have to be able to finish and sustain that lead, uh, and even add to it if we need to. So. Uh, you know, I take a breath and breathe out and try to stay, stay mature and calm, right? And uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. Anything else, guys? How come you're not asking me any questions? No. <laughs> you probably have a good question. That's all right. All right. Thank you. All right. I'll ask you one. Yeah. No, I want you to ask. I want you to want to ask. Is BJ what? Is BJ Daniels going to be the continued starter? Yes, that's a good question. Yes, I'm going to uh, have him continue on. I think he's uh, earning that. He's, uh, you know, he he got better this week. Even though, like last week, he came in, he had almost zero reps. So he took the majority of the reps this week. Although I I did give Brandon Silver's a lot of time as well, because you know how do you know when you're starting a new guy? But uh, he showed that he you know that he's running with this, and I'm going to continue to do that. Good question.
Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos, shots. Let me hear something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.